Earth bringer here. I heard a human once wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Fool! He should have grabbed his gods by the throat and made them build him a new world with Tailspire! no sense to me. You're supposed to do it Beavis and Butthead style? What is a Beavis? Deathbringer here. Subscribe to the channel and sign up for the Deathbringer RPG newsletter at the link below. Welcome to Dungeon Craft. I'm Professor Dungeon Master and this channel is about all things role-playing games. And if you're into role-playing games like I am, Maybe you're also into miniatures, because I certainly am. I love playing with minis. I love collecting them, painting them, playing with them at the table. I just can't get enough of them. And this video is about where you can get minis for cheap in 2024-2025. Kickstarter has actually made it a little more difficult. Back in the old days, a company had to estimate how many sets they were going to have to make. And if the game underperformed, those sets would go to bargain discount stores or be sold to conventions for cheap, and that's how you would find a bargain. But that doesn't happen as much anymore, because Kickstarter allows companies to more accurately assess just how many units they're going to need in advance. Like, I love the game Hate. I did a whole video on painting the miniatures. It was a fantastic value when it came out, but now it's been bid up to a few hundred dollars because of scarcity. They only make so many copies of these games, and when they're sold out, the price of the games goes up. We're going to start a Kickstarter. One of my sponsors in 2023 was Mammoth Factory Minis and their Horde of Gondol Get Rich or Die Trying set. This had an epic over 200 miniatures. That's crazy. They still may be taking late orders, so you should definitely check that out. Another Kickstarter you may not have heard of is this game. This is Slay the Dragon from, I think it's Hex Games. It was designed by Wojciech Rosinski. It is a Polish company, and it's a great introductory role-playing game, D20, roll high. If you know how to play Dungeons & Dragons, you can grasp the concepts easily. But what's really cool about this Kickstarter is it comes with a cardboard dungeon and monsters. This is the Monstrous Menagerie, which is several sheets of very thick cardboard standees. I'll show you them here. There's a really great assortment of monsters, pit traps, doors, arches. And I've said for a long time, I think this is the way D&D should be marketed toward kids. So let's provide them the miniatures to play it with. They're also sturdy, so they're going to withstand some abuse. They're easy to store. They store flat in the boxes, which doesn't take up a lot of space if you have an apartment or a smaller house. Slay the Dragon and My Little Dungeon is definitely worth checking out. There's a link to the Kickstarter below. Full disclosure, they did not sponsor this video. I like supporting smaller companies that maybe not everybody has heard of. Plus, I'm part Polish on my mother's side. Stolat. Now let's talk about miniatures that you can get today for cheap, and you can't get any cheaper than Ollie's Discount Stores. There you can find Dragonlance Warriors of Kryn. It comes with six miniatures. There's a nice assortment of classes. It's $19.44 on Amazon, but they're selling at Ollie's for $9.99, if you can find them. Also at Ollie's, D&D Campaign Case Terrain. These are cardboard dungeon tiles and include stairs, pits, piles of rubble, and the creatures. These are cardboard monster tokens, and these sets are selling for $2.99. That's incredible. But at this point, they may have been picked clean, and there are other great mini sets with plastic miniatures. And I'm particularly impressed with Epic Encounters Crabs of Archon. They come with 
tons of these crab people. They're very high quality plastic, super detailed and easy to paint. I've painted them with my youth group. I think it's a fantastic value. Now let's talk about sets. This is Return to Dark Tower. This is the Dark Horde expansion. There's over 50 miniatures of varying sizes in this box from your standard size adventurers to your epic monster encounters. These bandits look awesome and they come pre-washed so you just need to dry brush them like gray and hit them with army paint or speed paint and you can have a whole band of brigands fully painted in 15 minutes and all sorts of weird creepy ogres, assassins, evil wizards and giant spiders in this set as well as three-headed snakes, giants, demons and this awesome looking dragon. And these sculpts are really clean, there are no lines on them. Crisp details, very impressive. Full disclosure, I was given this copy by Restoration Games for free at PAX, but I think at cons they're selling for about 50 or 60. There's a bit of a discount and you can also get it online. There's actually over 65 miniatures in this box, so even if you're buying it at full price, that's putting it at just slightly more than a dollar a miniature. That's a great value. Thanks again to Restoration Games for giving me this set. It is fantastic. And I have some recommendations from viewers and patrons, including Kevin who recommends Arena of the Planeswalkers. Shaolin Punk recommends Blood Rage, which comes with 41 human-sized figures and four giant monsters. And if you've got a Viking-themed game, these miniatures will be a great fit. And k recommends the Dark Souls expansions. 16 miniatures, $30.96. And I liked his recommendation so much, I went out and got one of these character expansions. I just love the Deprived. This is how characters start in my game. You got like a shield, no armor, and a club. And there's a thief, sorcerer, mercenary, pyromancer, cleric. Good balance of figures. And I love the crimson robes and explorer's armor. I can't wait to paint those up and throw them at my players. Very grim, dark, very creepy. I'm a big fan. But we're not done yet. So in recent years, I've been going to more and more conventions. And I've gone to a lot of big ones like Gen Con and Origins and PAX Unplugged. But this past January, I was invited to be a guest at Philadelphia Area Gaming Expo in Oaks, Pennsylvania, just outside Philadelphia. And I was blown away at the selection of stuff to buy. I found one vendor selling all his old D&D miniatures, like the pre-painted ones. I got a stack of cases filled with miniatures, and I think I paid 180 or 200 bucks. I just cleaned the guy out. And this is why, at a big convention like Gen Con, they can charge over $2,000 for a booth. So, unless you're a professional, it doesn't really pay to set up a booth there. But with a smaller convention, the overhead is less. And that makes it affordable to local people who might be trying to just get rid of their Dungeons & Dragons collection which is what happened in this case. And that led to big savings, and I donated those miniatures to the youth group that I work with. And I also noticed there was a lot of old modules there for sale, and they were in very good condition, as well as old magazines like Dungeon Dragon, Savage Sword of Conan, Heavy Metal. Great prices. I snatched up a bunch of them. But there were also vendors there selling resin miniatures, because they have high-quality 3D printers. They're able to produce really great-looking miniatures at very reasonable prices. I was blown away with how inexpensive these were. These are from Arcania's workshop. Three to five dollars each. I think this big guy was 10 or 11 bucks. And they also make gaming tables, dice towers, and dice boxes. You could check them out at the link below. This disturbing looking guy and the dock were made by Game Night 3D and I picked them up for about five dollars each and they will paint your minis for you and ship them and they also make custom fantasy dice containers and door knockers as well. Links to their site below. Special thanks to Ron for inviting me to be a guest at the Greater Philadelphia Area Expo Con. I had a great time and I'm looking forward to going next year. I'm also looking forward to going to DaveCon this April in Minneapolis. Guests include Brownstein creator David Wesley, In Search of the Unknown, author Mike Carr, and the designer of the dungeon board game Dave McGarry, and Baron de Rapp, a dungeon masterpiece. This is the kind of con where you get miniatures and modules at great prices. You may not live near Philadelphia or Minneapolis, but I guarantee there are smaller cons popping up all over, so you definitely want to check them out because some of the best bargains can be found there. At least 
That's what I think. What do you think? Share your tips for finding sets of cheap miniatures. You'll be able to see how some of these miniatures look in front of my Ultimate GM screen in a video coming up soon. And of course, don't forget to sign up for the Deathbringer newsletter and check out Dungeon Craft Patreon if you're interested in supporting my work. Until the next time, have fun with those miniatures and may all your rolls be 20s. Deathbringer, you said you were going to help out with this video and show how to get a half off tabaxi. I did. Well, where is it? You're standing on it. Oh my god! What do you want me to do with the other half? Oh no! While he figures it out, click on these videos and watch more Dungeon Craft. <laughs>